There's a lot of great folks, and actually the biggest surprise of all is that I'm not going to moderate this one. I'm going to turn it over to some folks that have been working very closely with me for the last four years, making Marvel Animation what it is today. Uh, and they deserve their chance at the podium and their opportunity to be able to share with you some of the fantastic things that we're doing. And they are Court Lane, Steve Wacker, and Eric Radomski. So they've got a lot of fun ahead of you. You've got a lot of animation and great times. Uh, I'm now going to return to the year 2015 where we're presently shooting, oh, I can't tell you that, have a great time. Everybody enjoy the cartoons. That's what you're supposed to do on a Saturday morning is watch cartoons and have a terrific time. Why does that picture of Eric Radomski look like he passed away? Uh, it's gone now. Uh, and this panel is in memoriam for Eric Radomski. We're going to share memories. <laughs> exactly. Eric was a dear friend and someone, oh, I'm sorry, he's here. Uh, we, we, and we just taught the children these. in the audience about death. <laughs> <laughs> oh, S&P's in trouble now. Uh, guys, have fun. Have a great time. And remember, make mine marvel. It's all yours, guys. All right. Thank you, Jeff. Oh, and we should introduce Kalia Chang, who works with us in development. Kalia and Chang, And helped put together this presentation. She's awesome. Every time you see a slide change on that screen, I want you to think about her. <laughs> All right, well, we've got some really fun stuff to show this panel, Court. We do. What's coming up first? What are we talking about? We're talking about Ultimate Spider-Man Season 3. We call it Web Warriors. And looking at the screen, you'll see why, because there's a lot of spider-themed characters. Uh, we are going to show you a full episode, a very cool one. Um, and first, before we do, we have to call out a lot of amazing, brilliant people who joined us today who worked so hard on Season 3. We have two incredible new story leads for the season. Supervising producer Henry Gilroy. Henry, stand up, please. Thank you, Henry. Is Eugene Sun here? Eugene Sun is our story. There he is. Stand up. And next to him is Danny Wolf, who wrote the episode you're going to see. Hi, Danny. Alex Soto, I know you're here somewhere. There he is, Hello. supervising director who really killed it on this episode, and you'll see why. Um, and also, Stephen Weber, who is a big part in this episode. He is our Green Goblin, Norman Osborn. <laughs> Stephen Weber. So, Steve, tell us a little bit about this season. Well, this season uh, brings a lot of challenges for Ultimate Spider-Man. In fact, the episode you're going to see um, is from the beginning of an uh, arc that we're calling Spider-Verse. Uh, the uh, Spider-Man comic book readers out there may know that name uh, from a big event that's com coming up that's bringing a lot of different Spider-Men together from across uh, all of uh, Marvel's continuity. We're going to see Ultimate Spider-Man in this one. You're going to see him looking like he's never looked before, I think it's safe to say. There's some big surprises here, and I think everyone's going to get very excited. All right. Should we do it? Let's we'll get right Should into we it. Let's watch Should the first do? episode of Spider-Verse. You are the first people in America yes. to see this, so enjoy. Just a taste. Nobody wants to see Peter Porker Spider-Ham. Do you want to see Peter Porker? Yeah. All right, fine. Run it! <laughs> Up. He does, and you'll even get to see some other Marvel Spider-Ham Universe heroes. Uh, but uh, Web Warriors debuts in September on Disney XD. All right, so uh, go ahead. And uh, Alex and Henry and Eugene, Danny, everybody, great job. Um, all right, I think we have some other shows on Disney XD, isn't that right, Corn? That's right, and I think we have a special guest to talk a little bit about that. We do. We do? Come on up, special guest. Mr. Fred Tattashore, the voice of the Incredible Hulk. The voice of the Incredible Hulk yes. on Hulk the Ages of Smash and Marvel's Avengers Assemble. And pretty much everything else. <laughs> he is our Hulk. Now, I think Fred has some news. I do. <sighs> Who's this? <laughs> Here he is. Some news. This just in. <laughs> 
<sighs> I was told there would be no math. <laughs> Marvel's Avengers Assemble premieres September 28th on Disney XD. Yeah. You can go first. Hulk and the Agents of Smash. Yeah. Premieres October 26th on Disney XD. Mm. Excellent. Thank you, Hulk. Thank you very much. Good night. <laughs> Where's Fred? You stay right there, Hulk. Right. We need you. Yeah. Uh, now we've been doing. Uh... <laughs> we remember him well, Fred. No. <laughs> <laughs> we can do Haas. I'm not let's do Avengers Assemble. All right, we're going to show you a little bit of Avengers Assemble Season 2. Yeah. Now, um, as you can see, Season 2 involves Thanos. And right there, he's going after the Red Skull. Um, it's, it's an epic season. Um, special thanks to our story leads for this season. We have Kevin Burke and Doc Wyatt, right up the standout guys. And of course, we're still working with the Man of Action guys on this season. And uh, Eric and his animation team, led by uh, Jeff Allen, uh, is creating some of the, uh, the best-looking yeah. stuff to come out of Marvel Animation Woo! Studios. Sit down, Jeff. <laughs> um, and right after that moment, uh, just so you know, they all turn into pigs, is what happens there. It's a theme running through all our shows th this year. Um, but uh, along with Avengers Assemble, as uh, the Hulk announced, we also have Hulk and the Agents of Smash, season two. This show has so much destruction, it gives me a, a headache at the end of it, a joyous headache. Agita. Um, in big, big season, uh, we started the season with the Hulks lost in space, mm -hmm. um, where they encounter um, quite a few cosmic characters that you will know from a certain movie being released August 1st. So that's a really cool element. It's a big season and they have to work their way back towards Earth and they have to redeem themselves in the eyes of humans. And so um, it's a wonderful character story there. Great, and uh, Henry, Henry Gilroy is our story yes. editor on season two. And uh, Henry, where are you? Henry? He's come up and with some pretty incredible stuff. We're gonna show a little bit? I think so. You want to? Yeah. Uh -huh. See a little Hulk? All right. All right. He, spoilers, he does not turn into a pig. <laughs> Yet. Uh. XD on your local uh, cable provider. <laughs> what? Nothing. Local cable provider. That's great. <laughs> Thank you. All right. We wanted to use one more thing before we get into some questions. And that is um, we have a wonderful animated movie coming out, Iron Man, Captain America, Heroes United. Actually, Eric, can you speak a little bit to it? Uh -huh. Aha. Uh, this is the second uh, long form that we did, uh, CG follow-up to Iron Man Hulk. Here we go, something like that. Uh, another one we produced completely in-house, kind of stretching our, our uh, abilities to see what we can do with uh, different styles and uh, long-form content. So I'm not sure when this is coming out, but uh, it's a beautiful piece. Uh, Leo Riley was the uh, uh, supervising director on it, and he had done the first one as well. So uh, he wasn't able to come down this this year, but uh, terrific work. So hope you hope you like whatever we're gonna. Are we gonna show some? We're, no, <laughs> we're actually saving the exclusive uh, clip for the Cup of Joe panel. Got it. Okay. And I believe all this right. is released next week, so yes. um, it's coming up on iTunes and all your uh, direct. Uh, video providers. <laughs> um, now we'd like to take a second, open up, uh, particularly if you have any questions for the Hulk. Uh, no math. Yeah. No We've math. We've got time for a Hulk. few questions. <clears throat> We've got some uh, microphones set, set up around. Uh, I have a question for the Hulk to get things started while somebody runs up to the microphone. Um, Hulk, Yeah. tell me, who is your favorite Avenger and your least favorite Avenger? <clears throat> wow, Avenger. Um, well, I would say my, my least favorite would be, um, I like them all, but Hawkeye really is a, a pain. And I kind of like watching him squirm a little bit. I, 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 he thinks he's all that and I like to put him in his place. Uh, Widow, of course, is really great. She's cool. She gets the job done and she stays out of my business. <laughs> but Thor is really my friend. He's the guy I can spar with, and he's, you know, it, it's like hanging out with Renfair a lot, you know, being at the Renaissance, but, but he's a really good guy, and uh, I enjoy being with him. He's my best friend. Ah. Oh. Oh. As far as you know. Yeah. Don't let him know that. Yeah. No. <laughs> he's not going to watch this, is he? Okay. 
Uh, thank you all for coming today, and thanks for showing us all that tremendous footage. Make my marvel. Uh, for uh, Fred. Hey, how are you doing? For the Hulk in Agents of Smash, do you see this as a smarter Hulk that is maybe merged with Banner's personality, or he has Banner's intelligence? A little bit closer to that, yes, I do. I see. I, I see. There's a. There's two sides to that character, and I and I think he's he's got a lot of those qualities that are coming right back into him, as Hulk a little bit. And he's a good, you know, Banner and Hulk at their core. It's Banner's such a good guy, and uh, and Hulk has that too. And and he's gaining intelligence. Yes. That just totally threw me when you changed voices. I I'm sorry. Talking. You don't know this is, is a real voice. This is real voice. <laughs> this is a, this is how it goes. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, Hulk and Hulk smash. Okay. <laughs> Is that just with no? Hulk smash. <laughs> I want to see how many you can do in a minute. What? <laughs> I want to see how many you can do in a minute. <laughs> All right. Well, we'll get to that later. <laughs> Go ahead. Uh, I just want to know if you guys are going to start doing animated movies off of events, like how DC Comics is doing lately. You got Civil War, the Infinity Gauntlet, you're going to see in uh, Avengers Season 2 um, a lot of titles. I'm trying to be very politic about this and safe to say in the room. You will see titles for stories that you will recognize if you've been a longtime fan of Marvel. Is that close? Perhaps there will be a disassembling of some sort. <laughs> But no, uh, we, we are, we are uh, taking our move into uh, longer form slow, slowly. Eric wants to get it right. We all want to get it, get it right. And we're focusing on the individual shows uh, on Disney XD right now. Um, I just had a question about uh, Ultimate Spider-Man. This is the place to ask it. Good thing you came here. <laughs> I hope I was in the right spot. Um, will, will we still see some of the characters from season one, like Nova and... Um, and Luke Cage and Iron Fist? Yeah, you will see them, but you're also going to see a lot of other young heroes. Um, part of the premise for the season is Spider-Man, well, first, I should mention, and this has been out there, um, it premieres with an hour-long event where Spider-Man joins the Avengers. At the end of that big, big epic story, he he's to find his own path, and he realizes there's all these other young heroes that are emulating him and are out there. Some of them, um, like Agent Venom, um, have spider themes, and others like Cloak and Dagger and Kazar. Um, so he reaches out to these young heroes um, and makes sure that they get the help and training that Nick Fury has provided him, um, and that sets all kinds of events into motion. Awesome, thank you. We've got a team working on the show. Let me expand a little bit. Uh, but you will, yeah. you will see those other young heroes, Nova, White Tiger, Iron Fist, and, and Power Man as well. The creative team on the show, uh, Dan Evans, Harrison Wilcox, Wendy Wilming, Diana Theobald, Kerry Rosenberg, they, they're people on the writing, writing side, and they are uh, big into opening the Marvel to toy box and finding as many characters, and Spider-Man in particular this year, you're going to see that toy box wide open. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you. Vote for me in 2016. <laughs> Uh, this is a question to Fred. I uh, 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 love the show, by the way. Uh, will we see uh, uh, Bruce Banner again in, in, in the Hulk Agent Smash? What's that now? Where, where will we see Bruce Banner in the Hulk Agent of Smash? Where was he? No, uh, where, where, where will we see him? Uh, is, can I, am I allowed to? Uh... <laughs> no, don't say a thing hey. about his appearance in season, season two. two. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I'm always Fred, around. I swear to God. I I'm always around. around, though. Okay, yeah. here's a little Just tidbit. You see a hell of a lot of Bruce Banner in the Marvel Live Tour. The, if you haven't heard about it, it's yeah. a live stunt fabulous show. Um, and, he play, and it's the voice of Fred Tattashore as, as Hulk and Bruce Banner. Yeah. Uh, and the truth is, you do see him, but it's Bruce Rammer, and he's a goat. <laughs> to continue the theme. Gamma. <laughs> Gamma energy. <laughs> what, one of our question people had a, a follow-up, but I'll ask it for him. Do a follow-up? Yeah. Uh, we don't allow follow-up. Okay. One question per person. Do you ever order pizza in the Hulk voice? Oh, let's do that right now. Yes. <laughs> Especially when I'm really hungry. Yeah. <laughs> Thai food as well. Yes. <laughs> Now, uh, I was wondering, do we have any kids out there who want to ask a question of the Hulk? Because there might be something special yes, involved for I see you. a hand halfway through. Come on or up banner. over here, kid. <laughs> hey, kid. Yeah, you, you, stand up. Come up. No. You don't have to be shy. You don't have to raise your hand. Yeah, come on up. 
You can move a little bit faster. You're young. <laughs> you got people waiting here. Oh. All right, come on. <laughs> Go up to that microphone. How are you doing? Well, you are dressed right for Comic Con. You look awesome with that awesome. shirt. All right, what's your name? Joe. Joe? How you doing, Joe? Joe? You have a question for the Hulk? Go ahead. How you doing, Joe? Um, what's your favorite part about playing Hulk? Going Hulk? Uh, I would say for me, it is I love when I get to leap and fly really high and, uh, and help people when I can. Those are my two biggies. And do you ever want to, like, fight other superheroes? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all the time. <laughs> That's all. Joe, wait one second. Thanks, I got Joe. something for you, my friend. Thank you, Joe. Those are good questions. Our, uh, our uh, head of production, Eric Podomsky, has been sketching over here. And I saw what he was sketching. And I was talking to him during the Spider-Man show. And we thought we'd give that away to somebody cool who asked a quick question. Are you cool? Yeah. You look cool. He is cool. All right, Eric, why don't you show them what you were doing over there? That's a picture of Rocket Raccoon, just for you. Now, give us for you, bro. Oh, okay. And that young lady should still come up. That young lady should still ask a quick question. That's for you, Joe. Welcome. It's an Eric Radomski original. Thanks for coming. Hi, what's your name? I'm Chloe. Hi, Chloe. Hey, Chloe. How are you? I'm good. What inspired you to be Hulk? What inspired me to be Hulk? These guys here. <laughs> no, no the, co the comics. Uh, I got lucky enough to be able to, uh, you know, do that part. And uh, I've, I've been a fan of Hulk all my life, pretty much. So this is kind of a dream come true. So, and then what inspired Hulk to be Hulk? Gamma green energy. Yes. <laughs> Gamma radiation. Yeah. <laughs> Chloe, who's your favorite character? Um, Hulk. You're yeah. awesome. Right. Give her a picture. We got something for you, Chloe. <laughs> Thank you, Chloe. These, uh, these posters will be given away at the Marvel booth. Oh, Chloe, come here. Chloe, come back. Yeah, Spider-Man on one side, Avengers on the other. Chloe, you get one without waiting in line. Yeah, there you go. Thank you so much. And you can I'm sure you can have the Hulk sign it if you want. Yeah. Or talk on it. You can sign it. Great. So thanks, Chloe. Thank you. Thank you, Chloe. It's better on the other side. Well, you know, save your applause. Fred's only being this nice because we're paying him. Yeah. <laughs> he told me before the panel, don't you dare call one kid up here. I don't care about kids. <laughs> <laughs> so, so Eric, um, so you drew Rocket, and um, tell us a little bit about featuring the Guardians in the various shows. Ah, uh, that's been the agenda since Spider-Man, and uh, they've been featured in Spider-Man, uh, Agents of Smash, and uh, the Avengers show, um, trying to follow the, the Marvel Universe uh, in, in general, and with the upcoming movie, uh, obviously we've tried to get it into the, uh, uh, you know, into the mind of all the folks that don't know the Guardians, so uh, if you haven't seen them yet, you're going to see them uh, in upcoming episodes. So. Yeah, we had a special Spider-Man episode um, that aired July 6th. It's actually a season three episode, but we pulled it out early to help, um, to help build the excitement for the Guardians, and it featured the Guardians in a special adventure. Um, Guardians. What about it? I think we have something secret and special that hasn't been seen by pretty much anybody in the world except for... Well, you just gave it away, first of all. Oh. <laughs> um, but I don't know that we're approved to show that. Is Jeff, if, is Jeff Loeb's... Is Jeff Loeb still here? No, oh, Jeff well, then. He's gone. Leave? He's not here. So if we showed something, we would keep it in this room, correct? Yeah. And if you heard about it later, you would act surprised. <laughs> On the count of three, can I see everyone's surprised face? One, two, three. Oh. Right. Very good. Uh, Fred, do you know any good acting classes? <laughs> right. I could send people Helping, to. You know. All right, court. We have something to show you. We can't talk about it because that's Marvel. Um, but we could show it to you and just share that there will be some announcements in the near future. And that's it. It's just an animation test, rough, but we'd like to share it with you today as our final thing. 